If you are fighting to get the guy, then it means you are creating from fear. Wherever there is struggle in your life, there is fear. And it is a fear that you are creating over and over and over again. Same fear, different person delivering you the experience. Fear is an anchor that is attempting to keep you safe, safe from feeling harm, safe from feeling pain. But this fear has created a cage and that cage is keeping you stuck, which is exactly why you knew this would happen and this always happens to you. Taking responsibility for what we are creating over and over again is the hardest pill to swallow when it comes to transformation and change. Because why in the heck would anyone in their right mind want to recreate toxic relationships has why because we're not in our right mind hey guys I'm Angela Jean and if you are new to my channel I share step-by-step -step methods how to remove old self-identification stories how to get your mind right to consistently choose the life you desire even when negative circumstances are trying to throw you off course in this video I'm going to share with you one of my many methods for clearing fear so that you can stop reactivating it so that you stop recreating it so if fear got you into this mess guess what guys Fear can get you out, let me explain. I think we can all agree that anytime we're wondering about someone, we're imagining an outcome. Anytime we're worrying about something, we're imagining an outcome. We are imagining 24 seven, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And when we are imagining, we're placing our attention on the realm of possibilities. Before you clicked on this video, what were you wondering about? What were you worrying about? In those moments of wondering and worrying, you're focused on the problem. And the problem with focusing on the problem is that the longer you hold your attention on that information, worrying if they're thinking about you, doubting that they'll ever reach out, fearing that they're with someone else. The more you wonder, the more you feel and you evoke all this emotional charge into these moments of imagination. It becomes not a possibility of your future. It becomes your future. You are shaping it from potential to actualization. And until you reshape the root cause, that is causing you to imagine and worry and wonder all these fearful thoughts, it will continue to reshape and boomerang back to you. You're gonna copy paste, print the experience, copy paste, print the experience. That is what fear does. That is the cage. That is the mold of fear. You have this mold, you have this belief, and you insert every single experience into it, which reshapes the experience and dishes you out the same exact thing. Every single person that comes into your life, let's just say it's a love story. The minute you feel vulnerable, the minute you feel that feeling of connection, that passion that you've been seeking and desiring, you will instantly start shaping the outcome based on the mold of fear. So until you dig up the root cause of fear, you are going to continue planting your experiences into the same soil and nothing will change. All right, guys, before we jump into the method, I need you guys to download the audio. There's going to be a link in the description box. I'll also put a screen at the end of the video. I want you guys to listen to my guided audio while you're doing what I tell you to do. I said in the beginning that fear got you into this and fear can get you out. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I thought you just told me not to focus on fear. There's a difference. There's focusing on fear for awareness, not activation. I really want you guys to understand this so that when you sit down, you're intentional. Because if you don't move with intention, you're just going through the motions and they're robotic, it won't do anything. You have to tell your mind where you wanna go and how you're gonna get there and then do it. If you're struggling in love, you most likely fear that they don't love you, fear they're not going to choose you. When emotions like fear are buried and ignored, which is what so much of us want to do because we don't want to feel it. We want to feel good all the time. But the problem is that creates emotional blockages in our body. By bringing the awareness of fear to the surface, we give it the space it needs to be acknowledged. So in these sessions, when we bring our awareness to fear, we're not doing it to activate it. We're doing it to bring awareness to it, to give it space because when we bury things and we suppress them they unconsciously steer our behaviors and that is the key to quantum creation intent is everything which is why i say when you sit down you have to be intentional because otherwise you are just reactivating fear you are bringing awareness to it to remove it the difference between recreating and releasing it comes down to your intent and to your focus when you focus 
clear intention of letting it go, you are telling, you are commanding your subconscious mind that this is something that you no longer want to hold on to. And it's not about reliving the fear in these moments. It's about giving yourself permission to release its grip on you. All right, guys, so let's sit down and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. I would like you to use headphones and then also get some lotion or some type of oil because I want you to be able to push without having any resistance. We already have enough resistance in our life. All right, so we want this to be a smooth experience. I want you to find the pressure point in the bottom of your foot. This is a meridian point that's attached to the kidney and the kidney is the organ that holds the emotional blockage of fear. Inhale, I will guide you what emotion to focus on. For example, inhale, faith. On the exhale, I want you to place your attention on the fear that has a grip on you. And as you press as firmly as you can into this pressure point, it should be painful. The body and the mind work together to free stored energy. So you're going to repeat the same exact thing on each foot. Each session is about one minute on each side because I want you guys to stay focused with intention. The fear feels lighter. If the pressure feels less intense, it's a sign that you're letting go. And understand that you are your own healer. All right, if this was helpful, you'll want to watch the video I shot last week. It's removing the emotional blockages of anger and overthinking. It's more active, so check that out. This is the guided video that I promised you guys. This will be the full session guided, so you can visually watch me do the method. If you don't need that, download the audio in the description box below. It's only the audio. Put it on your phone. Do it wherever you want. You don't have to be glued to your computer to watch. And as always, I am Angela Jean, and I will see you guys next week. Exhale. Fear. What are you afraid of? Release that fear.